And I think it's time that we really have this conversation. Uh, traditionally, the Seventh-day Adventist Church is not one of those organizations that's always on the forefront. And uh, we're always lagging behind. And we're really, really super cautious. And that's one of the reasons why African Americans really love Ellen G. White. And the reason why they love her is because when they had the slavery issue, she was on the forefront. And she spoke her heart. She said what was right and what God would have us to do. And so um, she became quite an advocate for justice. And so um, we feel in our committee um, that this is time that we, we open this door, have this conversation. We don't know where it's going to lead us, but at least we want to at least go on record to say we're starting something here in the North Pacific Union Conference, not just from a history point of view, but it's needed because every one of us in one way or the other um, have someone that we need to take another look at and realize whether or not we've been doing the right thing. Um, as a pastor and as a leader, as a youth leader also in our union, I come across so many families um, saying, how do I relate? How, how, what do I say? Um, um, what do I do in regards to my gay daughter or my gay son or my gay brother or my gay sister or my gay cousin or my best friend that's gay? How, how, what do I do? Um, and we found out that, especially in preparing for this uh, event, that there are a lot of families that need that support. They need to know where to go, what to do, and to, for them to realize that they are not alone. And because they're not alone, we can come together as a church family and show genuine love, can't we? Because this is what God would have us to do at this time. And so I'm, we're glad you're here, and you'll hear that all afternoon because you're a special group, and uh, I want to thank you for taking the time for coming. Some of you have come a long ways, and some of you are just around the corner, some of you are next door, but the fact that you got up, you got dressed, and you paid your $15, hmm? okay. <laughs> uh, you came here, and I certainly hope that you will get a blessing from being here with us today. Our next speaker is Dr. Marslov Kiss, and uh, he's a little jet lag too because he's been traveling halfway around the world, and um, I was worried about this speaker, because traditionally when we have a speaker, we have folks fly right into Portland, especially if the event is in Portland. But he decides to fly from Chicago <laughs> to Seattle. And uh, I don't know if he realized where Portland was, but, um, <laughs> you know, uh, see, he, he, it was $200 cheaper, and he wanted to save some money. And so I said, you know, well, maybe he just likes the Northwest, so he wants to have a nice, wonderful drive from Seattle to Portland, you know. Then when I look at the weather forecast and said, you know, this is the worst time to drive from Seattle to Portland. And so um, I, I told Sherry, Let, let's try and get him a flight to Portland, and we got on and realized, you know, he's going to have to stick with that schedule because the, the, the airfare that we got, it was more than his airfare from Chicago to Seattle. So, uh, Doctor, we're glad that you're here, and we're so happy that you have taken time out of your busy schedule to be with us. Dr. Kiss is a professor of ethics at the Adventist Theological Seminary in Barron Springs, Michigan, and um, he has consented to be here with us, and I know that you're going to bless us. So after a special prayer by our friend Ron, we're going to have Dr. Marislav Kiss. Thank you. As we enter this hour of worship, I'd like to invite you to kneel with me as we invite the Lord to bless us with his presence. <clears throat> Our Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for this Sabbath day, this wonderful institution that you gave us at creation, a time to come apart, to rest a while, to fellowship with one another, but especially to fellowship with you in a very special and personal and intimate way. So we 
want to invite you to be here to bless us with your presence. May your spirit be very real here in our midst to open our hearts, to open our minds, give us spiritual discernment. May we feast upon your word during this service. In Jesus' name we pray. And I ask your blessing upon our speaker, Brother Kiss, as he uh, presents your word today. Anoint his lips and uh, give him a double portion of your Holy Spirit. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.